SmartSuite hierarchical relationships just got better. What the heck does that mean? Well, a hierarchical relationship is typically when we have two records that are of the same type. So think about it this way. This is really helpful in business. If you're dealing with company records or accounts, you have a company, you might have a parent company that has multiple children companies underneath it. Or maybe you're talking about a contact structure. And so you've got different layers of management. You have individual contributors and they all have a manager and those managers have a manager, maybe a director, and those directors roll up to a VP. And so you have these relationships between the same kinds of objects inside a smart suite. Typical backlink behavior between two different tables in smart suite is typically really helpful. So if we have contacts and companies, I'm on my contacts, I have a linked relationship here that links to the company and we can select the current company then that automatically on the back side on the companies creates that linked record back. We don't have to manually do that ourselves. That's very useful. But now if I've created this manager field and then we can open up the field settings and we can see that I've linked to the contacts. I'm on the contacts table. I'm linking to the contacts table from here. And the default behavior for this has been, let's say I, Dan Lehman, my manager is Angela. So I'm gonna click on this record and start typing Angela's name. And by the way, if you've been using SmartSuite, did you know you can do this now without mouse clicks? I love that, I hate using the mouse. So we can actually select her record and press enter to choose that. Now, when we've created that link, notice how that creates that backlink automatically for Angela to Dan, but that's not how these hierarchies work. So if we're creating a field for manager, all because Angela's my manager doesn't mean that I'm Angela's manager. That doesn't work. And there hasn't been a good way to fix that out of the box with SmartSuite. Let me delete these values to clear that out, but let's go back into our field settings. And now there's a new option here where we can say, do not create a backlink. And so we can update that field. And now by default, if I choose Angela as my manager here, then when I select her record, then that means that that's not automatically creating the backlink back. I added some other managers here. So now you can see we could easily group this information and group this by the manager record so we could easily see, hey, here's the managers that are a company and here are their direct reports. Now, I think what this spells out for us down the line is that SmartSuite is going to eventually be able to create some sort of visualizations so that we can actually see these relationships outlined and how they relate to each other. The one other thing I'd really like to see here is if we could actually create a second linked relationship. This would be called direct reports. And by putting in the manager, it would actually populate the backlinks, but in that other field. That's been a hot topic in the world of Airtable. People have written different scripts to automatically populate those backlinks. So I know we're asking for a lot, but I think this is one way that we could have some additional flexibility in the future. If you have any questions about your smart suite setup, don't hesitate to reach out to automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.